Welcome everybody. Welcome back to Homestead Heart. And in today's video where we are on this road of food preservation, I'm going to be sharing with you all a must have for us in food preservation to go with, to go along with all of this other stuff. We can't forget this. I promise you can't forget this. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all do not want to forget candy, okay? You don't want to forget candy. Now, I don't know about anybody in any, anywhere else, but for me and for us, <laughs> one of the worst things in my opinion is to be in a situation that is number one, already a horrible situation like what we're going through right now. Number two, it's extremely stressful. So can you imagine being in a stressful situation, how important a little piece of candy will go a long way? Especially, especially if you got little ones and they're stressed. Oh my goodness, candy will come in handy. You don't have to bake anything. You don't have to use your staple goods to prepare anything or your canned fruit. You can save that for another occasion. You can use hard candy. Mm -hmm. Let's get to it. So I'm just going to open my candy. And y'all, these are hard candies, okay? These are the little Jolly Rancher hard candies. I would not recommend this with anything other than hard candies. Of course, you know... You put chocolate in a jar like this, your chocolate could melt anything. So we're not doing that. So all I'm going to do now is just start loading this jar up with candy. Just loading it up. Yeah. Just going to fill it all the way up. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, we're just going to fill it up. Y'all, this is the simplest food preservation video ever right look at that you ain't got to do nothing <laughs> look at that now i'm gonna put in my other jar oops let's do that there we go and just fill it up y'all i'm telling you if y'all stuck in the house and you ain't baking no breads or cakes or pies and you don't want to use all your ingredients for that and children and everybody wants something sweet to eat and they going crazy because they just want something a little sweet to eat all you got to do is just whip out one of these that's it <laughs> just whip out one of those and that will calm everybody down it's something how sweets or anything comfort food it's something how just a little bite just make everybody go <sighs> right so these are these for those Oh, moments. <laughs> and I even have enough for one more jar as well. But let me show you how simple this is to do. Now I'm going to put on my ring and my lid. Just put those two on. Look at that. No fancy stuff. No pressure can or need it. Just put those on. Now I'm going to set this to the side. Now this is my food saver. And mine is the V3240 model. I've had it for years. I don't know if they still make this particular model. But they make them. They still have food savers. And I shared with you my little attachment. All I'm going to do is pop my little attachment. Hold on. Hold up. Hold up. I done done this before. <laughs> Don't y'all put this ring on there. <laughs> Woohoo! I done it before. Anyway, um, I was wondering why that jar didn't see him. But anyway, you just put this on your lid. And then you pop this on right over the top. Look. Pop that right on there. And then this has, I can't even see it. This mine has 
options for speed, for food, whether it's dry or moist. And then it has seal and then it has vacuum and seal. Now sealing is where the heat element in the bottom here, it will actually seal. It's not really like a heat element, but it, it, it is a little bit of a heat element because it seals these little baggies right here. It'll seal it. Okay. When you're putting in, let's say I've dehydrated some onions and I wanted to um, put them in these little vacuum seal bags, then I will put my vacuum seal bag in this little spot right here and it will seal my bag for me but we're not sealing we're just vacuuming but i don't have an option to, to vacuum only is vacuum and seal so this is the button that i have to hit in order to get all of the air out of this jar so i'm going to sit this jar right here i'm going to hit the vacuum and seal button and you'll be able to hear the difference in sound once all of the air is out of the jar let's have a listen done all right that's down I could pick it up by the lid oh you can't see but I could pick it up right by the lid all the air is out when all of the air is out I'm gonna put my band on that's that now I'm not going to waste time putting an oxygen absorber in these because I'm not going to waste a perfectly good oxygen absorber for the candy as long as my vacuum seal will do this job for me, okay? So again, I'm just going to put this on, pop this on, wait a minute. Now some people like to just put the lid down in there and that's fine too, but in any case, we're going to pop it on, hit the vacuum seal button and let it do its thing. And this thing really does come in handy, y'all. It does come in handy. I love my little vacuum seal. Almost. This is being done in a matter of seconds, right? It's not even like a full minute, I don't think, it takes for this. Look at it. Are we done? We are done. Off with the lid. Pick this up by the lid so you can see that it's on there. La, 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 la. That's the product inside. The air has been taken out. I'm going to put on my ring here. And you can see the little nipple is down here. Put that on there. And that's that. We got two jars of hard candy sealed and ready to go in the pantry on the shelf. Yep. Now, I'm going to do one more. Just because. <laughs> I could have stopped that video right there. But now, I'm going to I'm gonna go wrap this bag. Finish this bag off, okay? And it's just the Jolly Rancher hard candy. And again, I'm going to recommend you only do this with hard candy, y'all. Like, really. Just hard candy. And this is a three pound bag. I'm gonna mash those down in there. I'm gonna really pack these down in there. Okay. And I'm gonna be kind. <laughs> gonna be kind. I'm gonna save a few of these and put them on the table in like a little candy bowl or something. They ain't gonna last long. This is all that's left. That I probably could have squeezed down in them jars right there. So I just had a handful left that could have went in those jars. They could have. I could have smashed them down in there. I'm going to put these in a little bowl on the table and leave them. Okay. But the rest of these, look at this. Okay, I'm going to take that out too. Mash them down in that jar real good. Put this in here. Just sit it right down on in there. And put that right on the top. Hit my button. 
Y'all, I love doing this. I've dehydrated so many vegetables. I've even dehydrated navy beans. Sure did. And dehydrating navy beans, once you dehydrate them, you can put them in a little grinder and grind them up and you can make navy bean flour. Yeah, you can. <laughs> I've done that too. <laughs> so y'all look, this is so easy. Oh. Voila. Voila. <laughs> Get my ring on. And I have roughly three pounds of candy. Now what I'm going to do, just to show you how easy it is, I'm going to open this jar. Pop this baby open with a can opener. Get it air? Air come right out. I'm going to take some more of these and just mash them down in there. Yep. He don't need all this candy. <laughs> Put that back on me. Don't y'all say nothing though. More candy in it and it's done now I could put the rest of this in that last jar but I'm not I'm not <laughs> okay so now now I have three perfectly preserved jars of hard candy mm-hmm Yes, I sure do. And y'all, on a serious note, <clears throat> having a piece of candy in a crisis or in a situation like what we're going through or in situations that could become worse than what we're going through and we are literally having to stay in our homes, having something as simple as a piece of candy can make the world a difference. Okay, so that's going to do it, you all. There go Mr. H. <laughs> that's going to do it, you all. I just wanted to share that information with you. I saved you some candy. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> but that's going to do it, you all. Thank you so much for watching Homestead Heart. Don't forget the entire playlist for food preservation I'm going to put down in the comment section below all right and don't forget y'all hit the thumbs hit the thumbs up button Woo! like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share the information with others as well so thank you all again for watching homestead heart peace and blessings to each and every one of you and i will see you in the next food preservation video